there is the possibility that as faithful as we've started out and as faithful as we intend to be, that um, changes will come into effect, uh, what I call the butterfly effect, which I'm sure, you know, being the audience you are, you all understand because you've read Ray Bradbury's The Sound of Thunder, you know. You step on a butterfly in the Pleistocene and it seems very minor, but uh, suddenly you return to the future and all of human history has changed because uh, of that butterfly. A, a small change can produce large changes later on. And that's... Uh, that's a question on the show. I mean, we've already seen in the first season, as faithful as it was, at least two significant departures. Uh, one, one character who has uh, um, his tongue torn out with hot pincers, uh, who later in my books, uh, that doesn't happen to him, and, and, and he's around and, and gets involved uh, pretty seriously in some stuff in book three. Um, he's not going to be around to do that, so Dave and Dan are going to have to remove that stuff or create a new character or somehow address that problem. Uh, similarly, the, the great scene in book one, uh, or in the, in the first season, where Khal Drogo uh, confronts the man Mago and uh, the, the, the Dothraki blood rider and, and rips out his tongue, uh, a terrific scene, uh, completely made up by, largely by Jason Momoa and uh, by Dan and David. Uh, it doesn't happen in my books. Uh, Mago is still alive in the books and uh, still has yet to be dealt with. So these kind of butterfly effect things may produce changes down the road. But I mean, what am I going to do? Go back and retroactively re rewrite uh, book one? Maybe I should. Uh, <laughs> That throat scene was great, but <laughs> um, no, I, I can't let myself be affected. Uh, I am aware of what they're doing in the show. I advise Dan and David whenever they're about to hit the butterfly effect, and, and sometimes they change according to that, and sometimes they plunge ahead. So the two beasts are the two beasts, and each one is separate from the other.